Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon Geeky Sparkle sitting this video out, but we're going to give you an update on the situation with Kang actor Jonathan Majors. Uh, apparently, he has released the receipts. He has released the receipts. His girlfriend texting him. Um, he is trying very hard to clear his name, and it's really interesting to see how this is playing out, how this is playing out with the media, how this is playing out with Twitter. People on Twitter have already made up their minds uh, that he is guilty or innocent. A lot of them saying he's guilty based on something that a director said about him months ago. And um, in this particular instance, though, it doesn't look like he was actually at fault. Uh, his girlfriend actually recanted her story. There are DMs being released. We're going to talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants. Guys, almost 300,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. We've been following the situation with Jonathan Majors, and it is a major story because this is the guy that's supposed to be the glue that holds the MCU together. You can stop laughing uh, for the next to the next couple of years. Phase five, phase six, if anybody cares. Of course, he made his debut as Kang the Conqueror version in uh, Ant-Man and the Wasp, which was a, a huge flop. Um, you know, but anyway, Disney's betting really hard on this guy uh, to, to carry them forward with Marvel. And, um, you know, him having a scandal like this, not a good time, not a good look. And uh, Disney has thrown stars overboard before for less for allegations. We were like, hey, uh, you, you know, are they going to deal with him like they dealt with Johnny Depp? You know, it was uh, not proven. And they basically stopped making Pirates movies. And we saw that Warner Brothers uh, dropped him, dropped Johnny Depp uh, from Fantastic Beasts. And we saw Justin Roiland more recently. Justin Roiland lost everything. Everybody threw Justin Roiland overboard based on allegations. And we saw the dominoes start to fall over. We saw the army actually uh, pull their ads starring him. And uh, we kind of wondered since this happened over the weekend, if Disney was going to throw him overboard too. I mean, look, if you're going to treat people fairly, right? Uh, but apparently, uh, as far as I know, that's not going to happen. So we're going to look at the receipts here. Uh, this is coming from TMZ. Jonathan Majors, lawyer shows text from alleged victim, says woman admitted fault. Uh, Jonathan Majors' attorney says she has receipts regarding the assault claims against her client, text in which the alleged victim admits she's to blame and says she doesn't want the actor prosecuted. Majors lawyer Priya Chaudhry, Chaudhry? Chari uh, tells TMZ the woman in question sent a few texts to the Creed 3 actor hours after his arrest last weekend, admitting that she was the one who used physical force against him. Uh, there's no note, just knowing uh, you knowing what happened. Did you leave the key? Goodbye, blank. Please let me know you're okay when you get this. They assured me you won't be charged. They said they had to arrest you as protocol when they saw the injuries on me and they knew we had a fight. That actually is true. Uh, some states, if there's a domestic dispute and there's physical evidence, then everybody gets arrested. So this is apparently his girlfriend. I'm so angry they did this. I'm sorry you're in this position. We'll make sure nothing happens about this. I told them it was my fault for trying to grab your phone. I only just got out of the hospital. Just call me when you're out. I love you. Uh, they called again to check on me and I reiterated how this was not an attack and they do not have my blessing on any charges being placed. I read the paper they gave me about strangulation and said point blank, that, point blank this did not occur and should be removed immediately. The judge is definitely going to be told this. She ensured this to me. I know you have the best team and there's nothing to worry about. I just want you to know that I'm doing all I can on my end. I also said to tell the judge to know that the origin of the call was to do with me collapsing and passing out and your worry as my partner due to our communication prior out of care. She promised all will be relayed. So basically, as as I understand this, there was a fight in a, a lift or a, a, a cab and there was video of this going on and the fight was over the phone. So Jonathan Majors was texting someone. The girlfriend was trying to get the phone from him to see who he was texting. A fight broke out. And I don't know if he was slapping the phone away or what happened. Again, these are alleged. They make sure they put alleged texts, alleged, alleged texts. And um, there were injuries and she passed out or whatever. And that's why she called, she says. 
And then the police got involved and they're like, well, we have to arrest you because it looks like you might have hit her. And everything snowballed. And of course, you know, being a celebrity, being a high profile celebrity right now, the media is contacted, right? In the text, the lawyer claims the woman sent. She says how angry she was Jonathan had been handcuffed. And she adds, we'll make sure nothing happens about this. I told them it was my fault for trying to grab your phone. The text exchange continued a few hours later. The woman reiterated she's pushing hard to make sure the DA doesn't charge Jonathan for the incident. Um, The lawyer says she turned these texts over to law enforcement. As we reported, Major was arrested for misdemeanor assault, aggravated harassment, attempted assault and harassment after the woman allegedly saw another woman texting him and tried to sneak a peek at his phone. Um, The lawyer said Sunday she was already working hard to gather evidence to disprove the claims, which seems to include these texts. And she believes there's also video footage from inside the vehicle where the alleged incident went down that will clear majors. Uh, There's been no word back. The fact that Disney hasn't thrown him overboard or publicly denounced him says that they're probably waiting to see what's going to happen. Now, again, uh, I am glad in this case, if Jonathan Majors is innocent, that he's not being charged. And this was much ado about nothing. You know, we've even got USA Today being like Jonathan Majors arrest is a developing story. People are jumping to conclusions anyway. Where were they with Johnny Depp? You know, I mean, that's what I want to. Where were they with Justin Roiland? You know, is there a difference in how Jonathan Majors is being handled versus how Justin Roiland and Johnny Depp were being handled? Now, here's the thing. After this happened and we see this all the time, and this is what happened with Depp and what happened, especially with Justin Roiland. When you have people gunning for you. When something like this goes down, they all bring out the long knives. They all start airing their grievances. Justin Roiland, especially, he had a lot of coworkers that did not like him uh, for whatever reason. It had nothing to do with the assault. That was a comp- or allegations of assault. It was completely unrelated. All these people that had axes to grind with Justin Roiland came out. They wrote hit pieces about him. They wrote a major hit piece about him, about what an awful person he was to work with, which probably helped get him canceled from his multiple shows. These these are shows that he co-created that he shouldn't be able to get fired from, but he was anyway. And Disney absolutely tossed him overboard. They own Hulu and one of his shows was on Hulu. So uh, as soon as this happens, some director comes out. And uh, starts taking taking pot shots at uh, Jonathan Majors, right? Um, following his arrest on Saturday, the actor received ma- major backlash online, being labeled, among many things, a vicious, cruel, abusive human being, according to Twitter, right? But here we have A.B. Allen, back in February, tweeted about a beloved actor who, in actuality, is a vicious, cruel, abusive human being. There's one particular actor, relatively new on the scene, who Twitter has violently fallen head over heels for who in actuality is a vicious, cruel, abusive human being, both professionally and in his personal life. And every new viral thirst tweet about him drives me insane. Following the news of Major's arrest, a user tweeted, now we know who this tweet was about, with a screenshot of A.B. Allen's previous post. Allen then simply responded, ding, 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 ding. When pressed on why the user now will not share more, um, despite the public at large seemingly Seeing evidence of what was posted, Alan explained it would still expose people who have been hurt. Um, You better have some receipts for that, A.B. Allen, because you're playing with fire at this point. Because you're basically like this person, Jonathan Majors, is an abusive, vindictive person. You're publicly saying that. It's making headlines that you said that. And now it's being proven, seemingly proven, that he didn't do what he was accused of doing. That was all a a dust up with the police. Um, The specifics of what I know, unfortunately would still expose people who have been hurt and deserve to not become part of some larger media inquiry. If they don't want to, I'm not going to get into details, but now y'all know what his deal is. So um, society theater co-founder and Broadway actor, director, Tim Nikolai offered support on Twitter and posts that have since been made private sharing that, It's strangely a relief to know other humans were out there who understand. Um, This is uh, Nikolai who said that uh, he was a sociopath and an abuser. I'm just going to say this about Jonathan Majors and be done with it. Folks at Yale and the broader New York NYC 
community have known about him for years. He's a sociopath and an abuser, and that's how virtually everyone speaks about him. It's a shame it took this long for him to be reported. Uh, I would make sure that you are lawyered up uh, personally because you are dogpiling this guy when it looks like in this particular case. Now, I don't know Jonathan Majors, obviously. Um, I don't know if he is a good person or a bad person. But in this particular instance, it looks like he is not guilty. And you are literally coming out there and saying that this guy is an abuser on Twitter. You probably could get sued for that, especially since it's making headlines now, you know, but we always see this every time somebody gets arrested for something or there's a dust up or some, somebody says, whatever, all these people that have axes to grind crawl out of the woodwork. In some cases the people are like, who the hell is this? I don't even know this person, but apparently something went, you know, I had some shitty interaction with them like 10 years ago. I don't even remember, you know, and we get a lot of people come out of the woodwork. We get, uh, you know, in some cases fabricated DMs, you know, whatever. There's a lot of crazy shit that goes on. A lot of people, you know, want to glom on to this situation. Um, at the end of the day, regardless of what kind of person he actually is, again, I do not know. I do not know him. I probably will never meet him. Um, but at the end of the day, you know, it's up to the authorities to decide whether he's guilty or innocent. And it actually does look in this case that there are receipts, that this was a dust up. It shouldn't have gone down the way that it did, but it did. I've been in situations like that before. A lot of people have been in situations like that before. Um, it is what it is. And uh, we'll see. We'll see how Disney deals with them. So I'm going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Help support the channel. Go to thereef.support and get early access to podcasts, videos, and other content. That's thereef.support.